Today's topic is a combination of both most requested and hardest to draw. I've been thinking about it and I believe I've come up with a reasonably easy way to be able to show you guys how to draw this thing. So if you're ready, let's draw some angel wings. I think the best way to draw these wings will just be by drawing a person from the back. When you do this yourself, you don't have to really pay too much attention to the back anatomy and the musculature uh, because, of course, you'll be covering up most of it with the wings. It's just something to have uh, to anchor your drawing to. Now that I have that roughed in, I'm ready to start the wings. The first thing you want to do is figure out where the wings attach. I would highly recommend uh, these two circles that I've drawn here. These circles are in the location of the scapula. It's also called the shoulder blade. You're going to draw these diagonal lines like I've drawn and try to think about them like it's a big M. After you have the uh, M shape down, you're going to round off the top of the wings. At the bottom, you can draw these V shapes. You're going to know why in just a few moments. And a couple more U shapes right by the elbows. These of course are not final lines. I'm just trying to figure out how large I want the wings before I start doing any of the details. This is just to save time because if you start with details immediately and you get the size wrong, you'll have to erase everything. Now I'm just going to take an eraser and erase all of the parts of the body that are behind the wings. Okay, with my H pencil now, I'll start working on some of the details. This first layer, you can see that I start at the shoulder blade, come down, up, and across. These are chunkier, short, and wide wings. That's the secret to this uh, top layer. You, you want them shorter and wider. Here, this uh, first layer of feathers. These uh, feathers are shorter and kind of chunkier and they just cover the top curves. Uh, by the way, each, each of these wings will be three layers of feathers, and each layer that you put gets longer and longer. And you'll see this in a moment. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just drawing these very loose feather shapes that are short, and um, try to think about them like they're ovals but uh, maybe with a little bit of a point on the end, but short and wide. As I move on to the second layer of feathers now, I mark them out with a, a rough line. That way I'll know how low I need to go with them. I always start with the outside feather because the feathers uh, overlap each other, except the outside one. That's the only one you see the entire feather. All of the other ones are overlapped. And you can see that I have these feathers roughly the same width. And I just work my way toward the middle. And then again on the other side. Inside the feathers you can make slight indications for that central line and maybe just a few of the hairs. Also, I would recommend that you shade the space between the first layer of feathers and the second layer of feathers. That'll give you um, some slight three-dimensionality to your wings. Once you finish with the shading on both sides, you can move then to the third and last layer of feathers. These ones are the longest, and they're roughly the same width as the second layer. But you'll notice how, how long they are. Try to keep the uh, feathers on both of the wings very symmetrical. So. If you have four or five or six, make sure you have the same number on the other side. If you get stuck here, you can always pull up a picture of a vulture or an eagle and just reference those feathers. After I finish drawing uh, all of those individual feathers, I'll go back in and again, draw some shading between the second layer of feathers and the third layer. And then also put some small details in terms of the uh, just individual details of the feathers, little lines here and there. 
And that just adds to the realism. And then I'll shade it slightly, and we're almost done. And since we're drawing an angel here, I really shouldn't forget the other extremely identifiable feature of a, an angel other than wings, and that is, of course, a halo. So I'll just draw that in now. If you got value from this content, please do subscribe and drop me a comment. I really do appreciate it.